Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Kometko, and our guest on this My Community podcast is the award-winning actress and producer Sharon Gless. Sharon stars in and was a driving force behind Hannah Free. As Hannah, Sharon plays a lesbian whose hidden relationship spans 60 years, a free-spirited woman attempting to reunite with the love of her life one last time. It's one of the featured films at the Tampa LGBT Film Festival, and in this scene, Hannah is arguing with the daughter of her lover, Rachel, who never really did approve of the relationship. The nurse says you've been wanting to see Mom. Of course I have. We can't have you upsetting her. Upset? When did I ever upset your mother? All her life. Well, if that's the case, it was her choice. Marge, please let me see her. We need to see each other. This is no way for us to end our lives in two separate rooms. She has her family. I'm her family. Sharon, thanks for stopping by to talk with us about Hannah Free. Oh, it's my pleasure. I love talking about Hannah. <laughs> Something very strong must have drawn you to this material because not only do you star in the film, as I mentioned, you're one of the producers. What grabbed you? Well, uh, Steve, actually... How I came across this piece was uh, Claudia Allen. Uh, it was one she's written over 30 plays, and she's an award-winning uh, playwright in Chicago. Most of her plays are are about lesbians. Um, she called me. Tyne Daly and I had done one of her plays for radio. I did one of her plays on stage, and she called and said, "Sharon, they're adapting, or I'm adapting one of my plays for film. They're going to make a film out of my." One of my plays, I said, fantastic. She said, will you be in it? I said, yes. She said, don't you want to know which one? I said, no. <laughs> I said, <laughs> she writes women so beautifully. I said, surprise me. So she sent it to me, and um, and I loved it. I, I have to be very honest with you. I have the title of producer, but really Tracy Bain produced it. Um, I saw that on the screen. I said, you guys. And they said, well, we gave you that in lieu of salary. I said, okay. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, it uh, it was a, we did it in 18 days, Steve. We shot this. Wow, film. that's fast. How would you describe Hannah? She's operating from a place of impending loss and sadness. Yes, yet there's a kind of a an irascible, uh, can't keep her down quality about her as well. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thank you. I I think so too. Uh, she's yes, a very very independent woman, um, who lived during the, the Depression. I mean, it's, obviously, she spans many years. When you first meet Hannah, she's 80. Um, um, she's, uh, she's a very free spirit. She never could really stay in the little town where she was born, but she fell in love with a young... When she was 10 years old, she fell in love with Rachel. And uh, Rachel was much more traditional, especially in that time, and Rachel was ashamed to say who she was and married. And so uh, Hannah would leave. She'd leave the town and come back, but she always had to keep returning because of her love for uh, Rachel. Um, but, yeah, she's uh, very feisty, And um, but it's the, it's the end of, not necessarily the end of her life, but it is the end of Rachel's, and... Um, we did it all. It, it's like it, it was a play. So we shot the whole thing in one building, uh, except for all the stuff on, out on the farm. Um, and it's, it's, it's actually very timely. Uh, uh, Claudia Allen wrote this about 10 years ago. But it's the story of, of two women who loved each other, and one is dying, that being Rachel. And Hannah cannot get in just to say goodbye. That's all she wants, is to say goodbye. And the uh, daughter, who she helped raise... I used to tuck you in. <laughs> Pardon me, I'm getting Hannah's tone. Um, will not let her in. <laughs> and that's going on today. I mean, still with the gays not being able to marry, and if they don't have a legal relationship, they're not in, let in hospital rooms many times. Um, so it was, it was very timely. Um, I, I loved that character. She was funny. You like and playing characters like Hannah, don't you? <laughs> I do, and they just seem to come my way, and and um, if it sings to me like that did, I I just uh, I had a w really a wonderful wonderful time. I've had people ask me, well, 
because um, of, of the it's being played in uh, film festivals, gay and lesbian film festivals all over the world now. Um, but sometimes I'm asked, well, well now, Miss Glass, what was it like for you to play? Well, you know. <laughs> and and my answer, honestly, is I was so very comfortable in her body and, and in her mind. And I mean, I didn't have to use much of my body since I was in a wheelchair or a bed. Um, but I, I, I just uh, <clears throat> related to her. I don't think this story is about two lesbians, but it, it, love is love. You know? Love is love. That's yeah. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. Uh, say, let me ask uh, as, you, as, as Debbie Novotny, I'm sorry, as Debbie Novotny in Queer's Folk said, uh, genitalia is just God's way of accessorizing. <laughs> <laughs> How aptly put. <laughs> Our guest today, Sharon Gless, who's the star of Hannah Free, which is one of the featured films at the Tampa LGBT Film Festival. Thank you so much, Sharon, for stopping by. Oh, Steve, thank you for having me. Humbly <laughs> yours. I'm Steve I'm Steve Kometko for mycommunity.com. Thank you.